Good morning children and welcome to the geography class. We will read chapter number 11 weather and climate again. This is the second part of our video. In our first part we read about what is climate and weather. And we also read how the change in the seasons affect our daily life and a climate of a place how it affects the plants animals as well as the people living in that area about their lifestyle food habits and clothing then we read about the difference between weather and climate and in this session today we'll begin factors that influence the climate so let's read factors influencing the climate some of the factors influencing the climate are mentioned below and the first one is temperature the temperature of any place or area is affected by various factors such as latitude altitude distance from the sea ocean currents and winds all these factors determines the temperature of a particular place and when the temperature of an area increases the air expands and rises because air gets heated up and as we all know the warm air always rises and expands and the, res and the result is the temperature of that area is increases. It gives rise to the huge convection currents. Convection currents. These currents help heat or the hot air to move upward from the lower level to the higher level. That assist in the distributing temperature around the globe temperature is measured in degree Celsius now the next factor is distance from the equator we notice that the rays of the Sun are falling vertically near the equator as we can see in the picture also given the diagram just see the rays of the sun are falling directly or vertically on the equator and those places which are very far away from the equator they are receiving the slanting rays like this the sun rays cover a small area near the equator as you can see the rays of the sun those who are coming directly to the equator they are receiving only a small area near the equator they are covering the small area and thus this, this region remains hot almost throughout the year and away from the equator the sun rays spread over a large area thus this region has low temperature Another factor is height above the sea level. Suppose there are two cities. One is situated in the plains and whereas the other one is situated in the high mountains. But the cities are at the same distance from the equator. We should experience the same temperature in both the cities. But this is not so. Actually, the city is the mountain, the city which is in the mountain is cooler than the one in the plain. Thus, we find that the temperature decreases with the increase in the height above the sea level. As we have already read, as we move upward, as we go toward the higher level, the temperature decreases. For example, 
Shimla and Ludhiana. These are situated almost the same distance from the equator. But Shimla is cold while Ludhiana is hot in summer. The reason is that Shimla is located at the height of 2150 meters above the sea level. But whereas Ludhiana is only at a height of 250 meters above the sea level. So here we learn the temperature decreases as we move upward as the level increases height increases the temperature decreases. Now the another factor is distance from the sea. Mumbai is located near the sea coast while Delhi is far away from it. We know that Mumbai is cooler in summer and warmer in winter if compared to Delhi. The places located near the sea coast have a moderate climate. Neither hot in summer nor cold in winter. On the other hand, the places far away from the sea coast have extreme climate that is hot summers and cold winters. The climate of the coastal region is always affected by the sea. This is because of the land and sea breezes. In the daytime, the sun heats both land and the sea. Land heats up more quickly than water. Hence, it is hotter than the sea. As you know, hot air is lighter than cold air. Therefore, warm air above the land rises and the cool air from the sea comes to take its place. As we can see in this picture, sea bridge and land bridge. This is the during the daytime. Here in this picture, we can see. The land is hotter than the sea and hot air is lighter than the cold air and therefore warm air above the land it rises, it moves upward and the cool air from the sea comes to take its place. This is called the sea bridge. It cools the land near the coastal region. During the night the opposite happens. The land cools down more quickly than the sea. The sea cools down slowly. Above the sea is warmer and rises. The cooler air from the land blows toward the sea is called land bridge. Here, as we can see in the picture also, the land here cools down more quickly than the sea. And the sea cools down slowly. The air above the sea is warmer and rises upward. And the cold air from the sea, uh, from the land toward the sea, it takes the place of the warm air. And this is called the land breeze. Due to the land and sea bridges, the weather near the sea remains pleasant. This is the reason why the coastal regions, the places near the sea coast like Mumbai and Goa always have pleasant weather or a moderate climate. Now the next direction of winds. The wind blowing from the hot region bring high temperature while those from the cold region brings low temperature. The wind blowing from the high, 
uh, from the reason that high temperature it the air is very hot it increases the temperature of the particular area and the temperature is rise and while those blowing from the cold region bring the low temperature because the cool air makes the temperature low down these winds passing over the water bodies are full of moisture and provides rain now the next factor is humidity and rainfall the amount of moisture or water vapor present in the air is called humidity the wind blowing from the sea or ocean increases the humidity in the air it records the percentage the amount of rainfall and its annual distribution has a great effect on the climatic conditions the distribution is highly uneven and thus we notice a great variation in the climatic condition ocean currents oceans have both warm and cool currents these currents affect the climate of a coastal areas now some important fact that should be add to your knowledge the atmosphere of the earth is heated to the process of conduction convection radiation and advection so these are some factors that influences the atmosphere of the earth and the atmosphere of the earth is get heated through these process of conduction convection radiation and advection first one layer of the cool air resting on the hot surface of the earth gets heated due to the conduction when the cool air comes in the touch with the hot hot surface it gets heated this is called conduction now convection convection helps to transfer heat of lower level to the upper layers of the atmosphere then insulation is in the form of short waves and terrestrial radiation is in the form of long waves and the last one is advection advection is a transfer of heat by wind from one region to another so that's all in this chapter thank you and have a nice day